Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another video. Um, I hope you guys are ready for today's video because it's going to be something unique to the channel. I'm going to be doing a tier list, and this was actually a video idea brought up to me by my brother. He came up to me and was like, hey, I got a video idea. I mean, why don't you do a tier list for Girl Scout cookies? And I'm like, that could be a pretty good idea. Uh, I'm thinking of also bringing tier lists to the channel. I'm just not sure how often I'll do them. I'll definitely not do them as often as reactions, but I would definitely consider doing them, you know? And I'm also not sure what to react to. I I mean, I have ideas, but I want to, like, you know, see what you guys want, would like. Uh, some tier lists, some ideas would come, like, during certain times, like candy for Halloween, you know, uh, Thanksgiving food for Thanksgiving, you know? it's It's just a bunch of different things, you know, for different times. But yeah, with that being said, you guys, we're going to jump right into this thing, and yeah, I'll show you guys what we got. Let's get this show on the road. See, there's about, I can't even count, like 11, 11 things we're going to be ranking. I already put the cookie that I haven't tried yet, or the cookies that I haven't tried yet, and I've only haven't tried the I'm a leader one. I think those are also lemon flavored as well. Uh, but let's be clear. I haven't had these ones. So when I talk about these ones is like, you know, wherever they, where I put them, subpar, supreme, dog water, great, whatever. Uh, just know that I am actually talking about these cookies right here. You know, they're the square s'mores cookies. The ones that the Girl Scouts so just unjustly discontinued. I'm going to say it like that. It's these square ones, all right? It's these square ones that I'm going to be talking about. Oh, whoops. Not the abomination that, you know, this one is. And I don't know if you guys saw, but I was trying to look up Girl Scout cookies, and unfortunately, I couldn't find a tier list with every single Girl Scout cookie. But I know they introduced, like, a new raspberry-flavored one, and that's one that I haven't personally tried yet. But you know what? We're going to rank the ones that, you know, I have. And starting off the tier list, we actually have, I think these are the Adventure Fools. These are great, all right? They're like, I think they're like a brownie slash caramel like type of cookie. Me personally, I love those things. I don't know if I necessarily put them in Supreme, but they are absolutely fantastic. Mouth-watering, I mean, all the cookies are somewhat crunchy, you know? But that one just takes it to another level. They are phenomenal. They are great. Oh yeah, and I guess before we keep going, I guess I should run through the tiers. So at the top, we have the, obviously the top cookies that I find Supreme over everyone else. Below that, we have the cookies that I think are great. Not quite as good as Supreme, but they are actually, they are pretty freaking good. They slap. After that, we got the cookies that are meh, meaning like I'd have like a few cookies. These, the Supreme, I could have like a box or more and be like, yes. These ones, I could have, like, half, maybe a whole box, and I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, because, like, they're good. They're really, really great. Below that, the cookies that are meh, it's like, I'd have, like, a cookie or two, maybe three, and be like, eh. Subpar, these are the cookies that are, like, I might have, like, one if, like, they're the only ones there, and, like, if I have to eat them. Below that, we have the cookies that are just straight dog water, the cookies that are just, in my opinion. And then, obviously, you have the cookies that I haven't tried yet. The Adventure Fools, we said, were great. Below that, we have, uh, okay, the, I think these are the coconut chocolate ones. Yeah, these are dog water. These, I, I used to like them when I was younger, but the coconut and the chocolate now, it's just like, no, I, I'm not really, I'm not a big fan, all right? Like, I used to like them, they're whatever, like, these are the cookies, like, they'd be the last ones I'd reach for. Like, obviously, they're Girl Scout cookies, and I mean, they're not bad, but when you compare them to the rest of the Girl Scout cookies on here, I, I think they're pretty dog water. Up next, we have the Peanut Butter Patties. These are great. I almost want to put them in Supreme, but I don't know what it is. The Peanut Butter Patties, to me, are really freaking good, especially when you freeze them. That's when they're the best, all right? I don't know what it is. I had one yesterday... I guess the peanut butter kind of threw it off for me a little bit, but they, but these are still really, really good. Not quite supreme for me, but pretty dang close. I think I'd take them over the Adventure Fools. Up next, we have, I think these are the caramel. Uh, I want to say these are the caramel. These are the coffee ones. These are, these to me are great. All right. 
Again, they're a little, they're a little crunchy. Like they have great caramel flavor. It's just so freaking good. And I think these are one of the vegan options on there. I think there are plenty of vegan options for Girl Scout cookies, but I know, I know it seems like I'm putting a lot of them in great and I'm just separating them out, but this is just how it was formatted. Okay. Trust me. Up next we have, here's a, here's one that's going in a different category. These are the peanut butter sandwiches. I think, uh, these are subpar to me. I mean, if I want to get like a cracker cookie and put some peanut butter in between it, I would grab a small pack of Ritz crackers. You know, those, those six pack of Ritz crackers that have the peanut butter sandwich in between. I'd get one of those because I, I don't know. Even though this is a little sweeter, it's like, I don't know. What? Why? These don't slap as hard as the other ones. Up next, we have the, the lemonade cookies. And I, I used to absolutely love these. But now I think they're all right. They're meh. They're not bad. I'd have like a few few of them. They The problem is they get so messy. And I don't think these slap as hard as the other Girl Scout cookies. Up next, we have the, I don't remember the, the official name for these, but these are like pretty much shortbread cookies. These are all right. They're meh as well. Um, and the reason I say they're meh is because it's a shortbread cookie. I mean, you, you can't really go in expecting too much out of it. I mean... I don't know what you want me to say. It's it's a shortbread cookie. That's all I got to tell you. Up next, we have the Girl Scout s'mores. And again, not these. It's the triangle ones covered in the chocolate. These are supreme. Hands down, the best Girl Scout cookies of all time. And they're going to regret not, you know, continuing them. They discontinued the, the, uh, the chocolate squares. I'm like, dude, why? They were the best all around. Didn't matter if they were frozen. Didn't matter if they were just like, you know, room temperature. Those, not the, again, not these, the square ones. The square ones with chocolate covering on them were fantastic. And again, if you skip the intro, uh, this is what I'm talking about right here. See, this one, those were the tits, the tits of Girl Scout cookies. Speaking of Supreme Girl Scout cookies, I mean, this was just kind of random. These are Supreme as well. Again, these are, the Thin Mints are hands down the best frozen Girl Scout cookies. All right, hands down the best frozen. S'mores are the best all around. Like, they're great frozen, they're great room temperature. Thin Mints are great room temperature too, don't get me wrong. They are absolutely phenomenal. Then, I mean... Again, you freeze those puppies and it's just match made in heaven. You almost feel like you're looking at Jesus Christ himself. Up next, we have the Toastiers. And I actually tried these yesterday and you know, they actually were pretty great. I'm not going to lie to you. These were actually phenomenal. Okay. These were the tits. Okay. Literally tastes like French toast. The icing goes so well with it. I was like, dude, these were so, so freaking good. I almost put these in Supreme, and I put them in the same caliber as peanut butter patties, but that's just my opinion. I'd still give a slight edge to peanut butter patties because I'm a little more familiar with it, but Toastier is so freaking good. If you haven't gotten any yet, I would recommend getting some. And uh, last but not least, we have the, uh, I think these are the coffee ones. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I've tried them yet. I feel like I have once, but I can't vividly, like, remember what is going on, like, with this. Um, uh, but, I mean, I had, I haven't had this, but I have had its count caramel chocolate chip counterpart. And all I can say is that this was absolutely great. Actually... Actually, I'm kind of debating on whether or not I want to put any of these in the Supreme category or move them down. Um, Actually, yeah, I think I'll move peanut butter patties to Supreme because they, they actually are pretty freaking good. Much like this, much like, you know, these two, they are fantastic frozen. And much like the s'mores, they are fantastic at room temperature. It really doesn't matter. Again, you can get milk with literally any of these and you'll be all right. I mean... I mean, I don't know what else to say. I really like these particular Girl Scout cookies, you know? Again, when I say these, I mean the square ones. I cannot stress that enough. I don't want people thinking, like, I think these are good. Although, I'm sure they are really good. I'm sure they are really, really good. But I just want people to know that I'm talking about these ones, 
not these. Okay? Just making that very clear. And I think that should just about do it. I Yeah. Yeah, I think that should just about do it for the Girl Scout cookie tier list. So to recap, I have the s'mores, thin mints, and peanut butter patties in Supreme. Below that, we have the Adventure Fools, the caramel chocolate chip cookies, and the Toast Gays in Great. Below that, we have the lemonade cookies and shortbread in Meh. After that, we got the peanut butter cookie sandwich in Subpar. And in Dog Water, we have the coconut and chocolate striped cookies. And then the I don't knows are just going to be these two, I guess. Because I don't know where else to put them. Anyways, let me know what you thought of this in the comments below. Would you put any of these higher? Would you put any of these lower? I know that I know it looks very top heavy. Like I have like about half. I actually do have half of these in Supreme and Great. But that just goes to show you that I really love like these particular Girl Scout cookies. Not to say that I don't love the other Girl Scout cookies that I put on this list. And not to say that I might not like these either. But these are definitely really, really good. All right. It's really, really tough. All these are solid flavors, but when you compare this to something like Adventure Fools or S'mores or even the shortbread, I think it's kind of doo-doo. Not going to lie to you, it's dog water. But yeah, let me know what other tier lists you guys would like me to do in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button down below, subscribe if you're new, and click that notification bell to get all the latest news and all my latest content. This was really interesting to make, and I thank my brother for this. Uh, so very much it gave me an idea and it's you know kind of a nice refreshing break from uh, actual reactions But uh, yeah with that being said you guys this is Jeek Scalver 26 signing off <laughs>